We are visiting a jewel of Wyoming. The city of Sheridan boasts mountain views, modern hospitality with an Old West charm. Come along and tour with us today. We're downtown at the Red Bison Studio with Stefan, the owner. Now, first of all, just tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, yeah, so we make, uh, we kind of make a wide variety of ceramics, so mugs, bowls, plates, platters, kind of anything out of clay is, we make that. And so we have a retail shop here, but we kind of ship all over the country, and actually within the last year with everything kind of going digital, we've shipped kind of to a whole bunch of different countries. So it's been really cool, and it's really opened us up in a an interesting way, so. Yeah. And we also do a lot of wholesale, and kind of ship to little shops around the country, and so it's been really good. What would you say is unique about your pottery? I think one, uh, our designs are really unique, and so there's not a lot of people who are doing it quite how we do it. We do a lot of kind of western themed stuff, but I try to do a lot of goofy stuff and mix it up and have fun, like dinosaurs riding bikes and uh, our state flower, just like mountain flowers or trees, and so I kind of try to do a wide range of designs. So. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started in the pottery industry? Uh, so I went, I went to school for it at the University of Wyoming. I got a fine arts degree and then I taught high school. I got an art ed degree along with that. So I taught for about four or five years. And then, so what's really cool is Sheridan does a, it's called the Third Thursdays. It's a once a month throughout the summer, they close down our whole main street and just fill it full of vendors. And so that's where I really got my first start because you're all nervous when you first start, you know, and you're like, oh, I hope I sell anything. Yeah. And so uh, it just worked out really well here and the people kind of took us on and really gave us a lot of support. And then we jumped into bigger kind of markets like those craft fairs around the state and in South Dakota. And so it just kind of grew from that where I was able to resign from teaching and uh, go at this full time. So it's yeah. been really cool. What would you say your biggest seller would be? Uh, mugs for sure. Yeah, you can make mugs all day long. We have a really cool Dolly Parton one that we do, which is really fun. And then we do, um, the flowers tend to do really well, depending on springtime. Our tree, we started doing a lot of tree designs, especially with our mountains so close, and you guys understand that. It's like really cool to get into that, kind of like making a product or, a, you know, a pot that represents where you live. It's been a really like gratifying thing to do, so. So I'm not super artistic, but you're gonna show us how to stamp a mug, is that right? Yeah, I'll show you how to do that. Let's roll. So then you put that in. Oh, I see. Okay. 